Hi, I'm with Victoria, his Hostel Product Manager, and she will introduce us to the platform for Hostel Connect. Thanks for talking with us. So, uh, the Hostel concept is based on um, taking the right decision to plan for a long-term treatment. And so to say, be sustainable and not have to redo the work again. And by doing that, you measure the stability, the mechanical stability. Yeah. And then you follow up and measure the biological stability over time, meaning also integration. So within that um, concept, we have the Oslo Connect platform, which is an online platform. So this is a platform to uh, save data about the patient risk factors, income system, and to follow the measurement over time, to plan for the treatment, to add data about the patient history and risk factor. Perfect. And by doing this, totally anonymous for the platform itself. Weird. You can export data to learn from your own data in the clinic, totally anonymous. You can print a report for the patient, so you can export data and make a PDF for patients or for referral dentist, so that it is a quality assurance system as well. And it's also a planning tool where you can do a consultation for the patient. Good. And you can plan how the status is today, so that you can actually show them that they have lost the jobs. You need to add an input and then you can planning all the different visits and all the different steps within the visit so that you later on can export and plan a sequence. Perfect. So you can follow everything over time and you can base all the decision uh, on facts and not guessing. No. So at the follow up visits, it, it's important to take the right decision on what way to go. Or yes. And it's a, a good way to improve your communication with the patient because he can understand what is happening. Yeah, exactly. And this planning tool also makes it possible to export so they can actually bring this planning at home and, and to see all the steps during the treatment and what the outcome can be so that then they can base their investments in the team. Yeah at home well they have some uh, room for quietness uh, and to think about it and they it's also an agreement with the clinician that we agreed to do like this if everything goes well with the measurement yeah so a communication with the patient for yes. the patient's sake yes because for us it's important when we say to the patient we have to wait three four months uh, to place the prothesis and they said why and it's a good way to explain. Yeah, it's like better is a bit clearer at the treatment. Yes. And uh, the cost of the investment. It's more understandable to know the status today and what the status can be and to have a timeline for it. Yes. So they can be involved in, uh, in the planning. Good. For patients, it's excellent. And uh, for clinicians too, because you have a lot of uh, scientific research yep. talking about that. So yep. it's exactly. important for us. Yeah. So the research, as you mentioned, is it's a scale that we base the ISQ measurement on. And this scale is actually, uh, uh, it's made by all the 1300 studies that contribute to create this scale on what is low, medium and high. And so it's not something that we say, this is high. The studies yes. say, this yes. is this is really important for a yeah. surgeon. Yeah, exactly. So if we go into a patient here, and we can plan a treatment on what to do, and we can then also uh, follow up an already placed implant, and we can follow the trend over time. Good. And if we measure this, we can also see the scale of what to expect of the treatment. Okay. And, and all the data contributes. So within a year, this can be opened up for everyone to compare data with the global database. What to expect if I have a risk patient as you know up. What to expect if I have a single crown in the front with a certain brand of input. What, what timeline could I expect? So I can present it to the patient. Yes, and you can take decisions and be sure yeah, that's exactly. a lot of 
doctors, there is. Okay. So the cost of using it is also to contribute with uh, anonymous data. Good for them. That's super interesting. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Thank you.